best party. This is the Wii Viewer. And the Little Wii Viewer. And we're going to review... Dance Dance Revolution. Hottest Party 3. The Dance Dance Revolution craze started in the arcades. Did you ever play the arcade game? Yeah. What would you think of it in the arcade? It was kind of like the same thing as the one here. Great. You could buy the game singly or with the pad. We didn't have a pad, so we had to buy the more expensive version. What would you think of the pad itself? I liked that more because I just did. You liked it better than just pushing buttons on a controller? Yeah. Or wailing your arms about like Just Dance? Yeah, it's, it's like you're pushing buttons all day. Wow, this is real fun. Uh, sarcasm doesn't work when you actually did enjoy doing it. Pressing buttons? Pressing buttons at all. Yes, you were on the pad. That's with the pad. A button is a button. Whatever. I mean, like with the Wemo. You crazy? So we're probably going to be asked this question. Which did you prefer, Just Dance or Dance Dance Revolution? Dance Dance Revolution. There were a lot of songs in this game. About 50. There were some lame ones, but there were also some really good ones in there. Which one was your favorite? Just Dance. I had a lot of favorite songs, but I guess my favorite was Pink's famous song, So What? But there are some old favorites like uh, Rick Ashley's Never Gonna Give You Up, which I know is a huge joke on YouTube, but I actually like that song. The gameplay is very simple. Just press the direction of the arrow shown on the screen at the appropriate time. However, there was a lot of variations on just pressing the arrow. Sometimes you would have to hold it or they would have you do tricky things with it to make it harder. There were a lot of modes to choose from. Just a few of the examples are the tournament, free play, relaxation, workout, and more. And those modes had sub modes to choose from. If you wanted to have more than one player playing with you. So this title will let you play it any way you want, and I love that. Let's talk about the controls. There are three ways you can play this game. It's with the pad, with the controller, or with the balance board. Let's talk about each one. Let's talk about the one that came with the game. That's the big dancing pad. What'd you think of that? Well, I just like that one because you actually get to dance. The moves are kind of like dancing, but mm, not really. Just until you, like, fashion it off. He was like wiggling his arms around while pushing buttons. <laughs> he was so cute. Ha, 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 ha. Very funny. I like the pad too. My only issue is that sometimes while doing the button moves, you'd often lose your place. So sometimes you think you're pushing a button when you're really not. You're positioned wrong on the pad. But I know there's nothing they could really do about that. Do you have any problems pushing buttons? No. The buttons were sensitive and reliable? Very. I agree. Then there's also the controls. If you want to use the Wiimote itself, you can just push the buttons, the arrows and the directions that it show. That has got to be the most boring controls ever. You have to admit, those are the easiest. And then you can also play with the balance board, which had you tilting in different directions. I'm not going to lie, it sucked. Because I wanted to jump around, just like I did on the dancing pad. It never read my motions 100% correct. So I just kind of gave up on it and went right back to the dancing pad. Then there's also another control scheme to have the dancing pad and your Wiimote. What'd you think of that one? I think if you're like into the DDR spirit, then the little hyper move mode make it just a little harder. Did you enjoy that mode? Yeah, it's just that. It's kind of confusing when you, you see your hand buttons and then you get confused with the foot. That's what I mean by harder. Sometimes the backgrounds to the game are just dancers grooving to the music. But on some of the songs, it's a music video for the song. And I thought that was cool. I did find it easier to concentrate on the buttons when it was just the music video playing. Because some of the backgrounds the dancers were dancing on could become very distracting. There were a ton of unlockables in this game. Well, there was like new songs. Then there's like gimmicks. There's new dance places. There's a ton of stuff to unlock. There's like too much. So you think there's too much to unlock? Yeah. One of the more amusing unlockables was that you can add your Mies as a dancer. It was pretty funny to watch your Mies shaking their booty on the screen. There were times where I couldn't stop laughing at my me, and it got really distracting when I was trying to play the game. What's nice is that you can unlock different clothes for your me and the real backup dancers as well, so you aren't stuck with just the one set of clothes for them. My only real complaint about this game is that once you're in a song, you can't leave until the end. How about a quit song option? Wouldn't that be nice? Dance Dance Revolution Hottest Party 3. What'd you think, little wee viewer? Buy, rent, or skip? 
Bye. Total Bye. I just like the series. I like all its features that it has, like the Hypermove and the pad that it came with. And it was a lot of fun. I agree with you. This title is a lot of fun. And coming off Just Dance, I couldn't believe how much I enjoyed this game more. I had never really played Dance Dance Revolution in the arcades. So I have to agree with you. This game is absolutely worth a buy.